200 years ago, Great Britain sought a northwest passage from Europe to the Orient. On the unexplored west coast of Vancouver Island, the famous navigator Captain James Cook paused in his search to shelter at Nootka Sound. While the ships were being refitted and supplied, Indians from nearby villages offered to trade sea otter pelts for iron, brass, nails, hatchets, shoe buckles, buttons. A year and a half later, some of these sea otter furs were sold for over $100 each to Chinese merchants. Thus began the ruthless and lucrative fur trade, which opened up the Pacific coast of Canada to European expansion and settlement. Unfortunately, the sea otters were hunted to extinction. These could be Cree or Slavey or Salto from the Northwestern Shield. When furs retreated north and inland, the Indians could no longer reach the trading posts, so the posts moved to the Indians. The man on the right is Angus McGilvery, six years out from Aberdeen. He speaks four Indian dialects and runs the post. He's a Hudson's Bay factor. This young chief and his band have trapped a year for their furs. 16 beaver pelts will buy them a musket. In Europe, one pelt buys 16 muskets. The factor knows the tastes and supposed needs of these people. For 10 pelts, one blanket. Our economy for 200 years rested on the shoulders of these Indians, their furs and their exploiters. Perhaps we should remember. <laughs>